up-and-coming teams in the National Football League. From the one-yard line, it's Autry Denson. To the 20. 35, and out of bounds, just shy of the 40-yard line, and a fine return to get the Bears some terrific field position. 37 yards on the return, and there is Shane Matthews getting the start today. It's a coordinator, John Shoup. football picked up by the Browns number 92 is Courtney Brown and in his first start of the season Courtney Brown scores a touchdown number 90 let's who makes the hit but Courtney Brown making his first play after being out for the year comes in what a way to start for him Butch Davis on the sideline leading the cheers. Middle linebacker Wally Rank. Well, that didn't take long. Less than one minute into the game, Courtney Brown scores the touch's first appearance of the season. He strained a right knee ligament in preseason. The PCL, the posterior cruciate ligament. 33 career sacks, a Penn State record. And Courtney Brown, the number one pick overall. The thing that was impressive for the Cleveland Browns, the Chicago Bears go with the five wide receiver look. And when they do it, no confusion on the Cleveland Browns defense. Picked up a Shane Matthews fumble and returned it for a touchdown. The Browns are on top 7 nothing, And here is Thomas. Those of you Bears at a second and 10, or third and three, excuse me. Matthews, quick screen this side, Thomas. Thomas with running room, first down and more. Out of bounds at about the 40-yard line of the Browns. Matthews has a tip at the line of scrimmage. It is intercepted. Intercepted by Earl Little. Two big turnovers now for the Cleveland Browns. Looking for the big play. On second and ten, past this side, and that's complete to James Jackson out of the backfield. Out of bounds just across the 35. Sell in this department the last couple of weeks. They get one here. That's complete to 85. Kevin Johnson and Johnson across midfield and into Chicago territory. Count's going to give this one to Jackson. And Jackson tries the left side. Comes up short of the 40-yard line. Wide receiver flanked to the near side of the screen. Couch with time. Throws incomplete. Down before it got to his intended receiver, Mike Green, number 43, made the play. What well, a big man, too. That helps. Right. On second and seven, Anthony Thomas getting a lot of work early on, cuts it upfield, and appears to have fought for enough for a first down. Percy Ellsworth, Anthony Henry make the stop, and we make our first. And now Matthews moves up under center. Quick drop. Throws this way, has it complete to Des White, and White out of bounds across the 25 to about the 27 or 28 yard line. <laughs> Matthews throws it this way, complete, and reaching for the first down is Anthony Thomas. The question is, did he get there? Anthony Henry coming up to make yet another hit. He does have enough for the first down. That play really illustrates why it's so hard to sack the Chicago Bears quarterback. Thomas leading his way to the 35 yard line and a little pushing and shoving between Brockermeyer and his opposite number on the on the Cleveland Browns Thomas with 50 total yards so far today quick pass over the middle and that's complete to Fred Baxter the tight end and that's enough for another Bears first down because there's a group of them don't know what they're talking about they're always open <laughs> Matthew rolling this way, looks, throws, overthrows everybody, and a penalty marker is down. 78 defense, five yards, automatic first down. Penalty is on Tyrone Rogers, defense. Agile, he is a difference maker on a defense. Third and 19, Matthews out of the shotgun, has all kinds of time, throws over the middle, and it's intercepted. Brant Boyer, number 52, picks himself up and returns to about the 42, 43 yard line of the Bears. Shea in the backfield as Couch works. Ball tipped as he let it go, and it's incomplete. So far. Bears with all three timeouts remaining. Matthews going to throw far side, complete. Nice grab by Des White. 
That's a quarterback's best friend. The pitch to Thomas. Thomas, nowhere to go, dragged down at the 45-yard line. Of his quality, and he just opens up opportunities for other defensive players. Matthews, running out of time, and now throws out of the backfield is Thomas, and look at Thomas across the 45 to the 37, and he appears to have enough for a first down. Bellary on first down. Thomas again. Thomas to the 30. 25, 20, and run out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That's another first down. Third and five. Matthews throws, coming across, has it complete to Marty Booker. And Booker, looking for first down yardage, appears to have it. Oh. Thomas. Touchdown. Standing at their own goal line, the second half is underway. From the 13 is White. Running room on the right side. Out to the 40, and finally dragged down at about the 44 or 45 yard line, and it's going to hurt their creativity and their big playability, too. Couch on second and seven, looks both ways, and now throws over the middle and has his man Northcutt. And Northcutt inside the 45 yard line, that'll be a first down. And, and here comes the blitz, but they keep it on the ground. And Jackson finds running room inside the 35 to the 32. Tony Parrish with the stop. Jackson again, and he tries the middle, and this time it doesn't get much as Ted Washington combines with Tony Parrish for the stop. One out of six on third down today. Give it to Jackson. Jackson tries the middle, and he does not get to the 30-yard line. Couch going to throw for it. Across the field, has a man wide open, and he hits number 81, Quincy Morgan, inside the five-yard line. It's a first and goal. I uh, wanted to yell at you, Greg. They've run this play twice today. In goal. Could it be a quarterback draw? Couch looks both ways, throws, touchdown. Penalty marker is down. Mike Sellers made the catch. A 7-7 tie at halftime. A drive to start things off. Couch to Mike Sellers. And it's a 14-7 lead for Butch Davis and the Cleveland Browns. Santiago. Second and seven. Here comes the blitz. Quick pass this side. And that's complete to Marty Booker. And Booker loses football. And it bounces out of bounds. Matthew throw up the seam has his man inside the 40-yard line Marty Booker with the grab 16 yards and a first down now to make them think but the Browns are ready for it Thomas avoiding tackles inside the 30 to the 28-yard line he'll be about two yards shy of the tight end third and two Baxter in motion. Thomas trying to get to the 26-yard line, and he appears to be short. Thomas gets the first down. Well, I tell you, fourth and inches, you can just feel the tension. Matthew looks, batted up in the air. It's intercepted. Yes, indeed, it was intercepted. The Browns say they have it. Their drive is halted deep. And on the right side, James Jackson and Jackson on the move out to the 25-yard line. Downfield for the big play. And you know what? That time he turned around and saw a couple of Bears chasing him. Couch, play fake again. Throws over the middle. Has his man out to the 44-yard line. That's Dennis Northcutt. And that's a first down. Yes, I know you need players. Couch. Gonna go deep. Caught. Kevin Johnson. Touchdown. R.W. McQuarters got the tip on the football. Went through his hands. Kevin Johnson catches the rebound. 1-7.
Browns in the lead. Kevin Johnson rejoices. But did you know that Chicago was first called the Chicago Transit Authority? Leon Johnson from inside his own 15. Up the middle. 30. 35. And brought down close to midfield. Dwayne Rudd made the stop. For the offensive line. You see the numbers for the Bears versus their opponents in the fourth quarter. Thomas again. Thomas breaking to the outside, turns the corner, inside the 40, inside the 35, and almost to the 30-yard line. Stepped out of bounds back at about the 36. Make it. Third and eight. Matthew, quick pass. That's complete. 87 is Dwayne Bates with his first catch of the day. And he'll get to the 30-yard line, and they'll be about four yards shy of a first down. The six-yard line for a first down. Matthews is buried back at the 41. Guess who was in on Shane Matthews? Third and one. The Bears could use a stop here, to say the least. Couch going to throw for it. Quick pass out here, and Sellers wasn't looking. First down for the Bears, their own 20-yard line. Matthews goes to work through the air. Up the middle, incomplete. And a penalty marker is down. Could be a personal foul. Yes, it is, against Gerard Warren, 94. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. On the defense, roughing the passer. Taking him to the ground and turning him. 15 yards, first down. Let's watch 94. Gerard Warren in the middle, just getting a good push. Well, you know, we're not going to panic yet. They don't have to. Play fake. Matthew pulls up, throws. This time hits his man. Marty Booker holds the football and goes down, and Matthews gets off the turf. Cheer. Second and five. Thomas up the middle. Two and three. And Shane Matthews was telling us, you know, this has, this has not been a rough, a bad, an easy road for him physically. He is back and still be a, a quarterback in this league. James Allen on the carry, and there's the penalty markers down all over the field. 12 men on defense, five yards, repeat second down. Four linemen, four linebackers, and four defensive backs. Straight ahead, Thomas, after a breather on the sideline, gets inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. Clock continues to move, coming up on seven minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Well, as John Shoup, he told us, Greg, we talked about this situation. He just tells his offense and his quarterback, look, he wants him, hey, get him out of the huddle, let's get going. And now penalty marker flies, and you saw John Shoup yelling. Illegal substitution. Legal substitution on the offense. 12 men in the huddle at the same time. Five yards. It's still first down. And John Shoup voices his disapproval. Yes. 12 people in the huddle. You cannot do that. That is confusing to the defense. But John Shoup, what I was going to say, Greg, he knows, he tells his offense and his quarterback, we just take your time. Let's make sure we make the right plays to score the first touchdown. Don't be in a rush and ruin what we're trying to do right now. First and 15. Play fake. Matthews. Pass is batted out of the air, incomplete. He was looking at Thomas coming out of the backfield and Mark Smith. And whistle is blowing. This looks like this will be a false start against the Bears. And another tip pass. Third and 20. Right beside you. Right beside you. Matthews over the middle, and that's batted. And falls incomplete. And 20. Matthews going to go deep down the sideline. Des White, his intended receiver, is incomplete inside the five. And we understand why. He is physically superior to a lot of people in this league. In the Chicago Bear territory is James Jackson. If you're looking for a turning point of this game, in the third quarter with the score tied at seven on a fourth and one, 
Couch hit Quincy Morgan with a 28-yard pass that kept the drive alive. Faster 40-yard dash, you got a chance to be an outstanding player with those qualities. Jackson going to reverse his field and try the left side, turning the corner. And inside the 35, and the marker is down. This could be a block from behind. Brown. Illegal block from behind, number 81 of the offense. 10 yards, repeat first down. Quincy Morgan, the guilty party. Keep it on the ground again. And Jackson is pulled down in that defense. That defense has been superb, hands in the air. They have this this evening, and there are all kinds of penalty markers. Uh, we got a lot of them going on in it. And they're going to keep it on the ground again. And you know, it's it's really interesting. He made a very good point, and, and he wasn't he wasn't whining, but he said Dante Culpepper comes into the league, and he's got Randy Moss and Chris Carter catching his That's passes. Right. Get you down. You got to look at the big picture. Matthew steps up, throws far side, and that is incomplete. Caught out of bounds by Marty Booker. Our Ace After reviewing CBS the play, crew. the player controls the ball, gets one foot down, and then drags the second foot. That makes it a completion. First and ten at the 35. Matthew's going to come this way. And that's a juggling catch and out of bounds at the 47-yard line by Des White. Good about their football team, about this game. Nice week of preparation. Pass underneath, complete to David Terrell. And Terrell inside the 45, and the clock continues to move. And then you go, where did it go wrong? What did Dick Terron say to us on Friday? He goes, I don't know how to judge it. And back to live action now. The pass to the sideline is complete inside the 15-yard line to Des White, who made a terrific grab of a high pass. Just seven points to show for it on the board. Second and five. Again, touchdown. Marty Booker. The nine-yard catch. And we see teams practicing the onside kick every single week at practice. Doesn't get a bounce. Oh, there's a high hop. It is a pile up inside midfield. Let's see who comes up with the football. Well, there was the hop we were talking about, Greg. It came in. It was on the second hop. Usually it's one bounce and it goes up. Bears ball. <laughs> Underneath, complete. James Allen. Allen looking for the sideline. And is out of bounds at about the 43. Oh. Much, a much better defense, more conservative. Matthew, short flip to Allen. Allen tucks it inside, down at the 33-yard line. And the clock is stopped with eight seconds to play as the Bears use their final timeout. You gotta take your time. Steps up, gonna go for it all in the end zone. Jump ball. Caught! It's caught! James Allen was there for the tip! Look, that is perfect execution. Three receivers jump, tip it in the air. Somebody trails the pack of receivers. That's how you teach it. Somebody has got to come in. The secondary person, James Allen. What a catch. He fell on Marty Booker. As the Bears score their second touchdown in 32 seconds. Let's see who tips the football. David Terrell. Really, it's the Cleveland Browns who knock it up in the air. The one thing on defense that you've got to try to do, don't go for the tip. Try to hit the ball downward. Nobody did that time. All the hands, and why are all the hands there? Because they had time to get in the end zone to give the Chicago Bears a chance 
for this play. Shane Matthews with 29 of 48 for 352 yards. Each of those numbers is a career high. For about a 15-yard gain. Third and seven. Over the middle. That's complete. And this is White, and White is short of a first down at the 40-yard line. So that will bring Brad Maynard and the punting unit onto the field for the Browns. Back to his own nine-yard line. And Northcutt is buried at the 12. Play action it is. Got him wide open. He's got him over the middle, and that's complete to Kevin Johnson. He's out of bounds across the 25 to about the 28-yard line. He's done today very good at taking the hit and delivering the football. Under the gun now and goes down. Number 59, Roosevelt Colvin, in for the sack along with Philip Daniels. Line up now for Cleveland. Couch out of the shotgun. Throws. That's batted into the air. Intercepted, and the Bears are going to win it. Mike Brown has done it again. Sims and Arm Katea, Greg Gumbel, so long from Soldier Field. Our final score, the Bears 27, the Browns 21 in overtime. We'll be sending you to Jim Nansen Company in New York for the NFL today. Right after this, you're watching the NFL on CBS.